Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Sabrent Rocket NVMe PCI Express Drive. Now, this is the one terabyte capacity, a little over 100 US dollars, and in my opinion, the best overall value in their lineup. Uh, for those of you wondering why I am sharing this with all of you, it's because Sabrent did furnish me with an external enclosure for NVMe drives. You can see it right here, uh, very easy to install and really giving you the best, I would say, overall experience that you can get from a portable uh, drive. So if this is something you need, of course, you don't have to purchase a Sabrent drive, but for 40 US dollars, very well made, of course, driven by type C, very high throughput. So if you are in the market for an external enclosure, then this might be a good idea and this might be a good drive to throw in it. Now, Sabrent was supposed to furnish me with a 256 gig version of this drive. Uh, that is the least expensive, certainly far from the best performance. In my opinion, the one terabyte I have here is the best in bo of both worlds. I mean, in terms of capacity, very solid at one terabyte. And then in terms of read and write speed, you're going to see 3000 on both sides, which is very good. Now, I do want to also point out, because I did do my homework before purchasing this, if you are buying this in order to uh, use it as your primary drive and you plan on cloning your existing drive to this, you may run into some issues. I'm not going to get into why, but just bear that in mind. I think there is a fix out there, but with that said, not the best uh, if you're looking to clone a drive. If you're doing a fresh install, you'll have no problems. Uh, if you're using it like me as a portable drive, you'll have no problems and you will enjoy, again, 3000 on both the read and write side with a very generous amount of space at one terabyte. Uh, so with that said, let me go ahead and crack open the packaging. Don't know where my uh, scissor went. So yes, I am just going to try to use <laughs> this uh, very small Phillips head screwdriver if it actually permits me to break the seal, which it did. And, you know, the 256 gig drive just has taken way too long. I actually contacted Sabrent to see what's going on because FedEx has stopped updating the tracking. So I'm not sure what's going on. It was last in California and it just, it's become a little bit of a ridiculous wait. And I didn't want to hold any of you up if you're actually looking for something like this, which I would perfectly understand considering I need one. And this is really a great solution for very high speed storage for those of you that are looking for it without breaking the bank. Again, at a little over 100 US, this is very tough to beat. I mean, there are other options, don't get me wrong, but in my opinion, this is where you're going to fare the best. Let's see if I got that open, not quite yet. This is really becoming an all-purpose tool here. That doesn't sound very good. Let's see if that did it. Whoop, it did. <laughs> I almost lost the drive in the process. So out comes some paperwork. I like this little tin case they're giving you. It kind of, of course, stays in line with the branding for the Sabrent enclosure that I have right here. In terms of paperwork, um, you know, essentially just telling you the require, required tools and parts for installing this into your uh, motherboard. You do need an M.2 uh, slot for this. That is a PCI Express slot, but in a much smaller form factor than its original. And uh, as you can see, this is the whole deal, folks. I mean, there it is. You have one terabyte. Uh, I presently have an NVMe drive in my main build, uh, so nothing new to me. Um, you know, I first dabbled with NVMe drives in my Vio uh, Z Canvas, where, you know, I had a, a terabyte of Samsung NVMe goodness. Uh, here, we're now at a point in time where NVMe does not carry the staggering price tag that it once did, and that's the whole beauty of what uh, Sabrent is offering here. And of course, I will include a link in the description for those of you looking to purchase one of these. But again, it's all about popping it into this enclosure. And I will be benchmarking this uh, in time, uh, just cracking it open now. But as soon as this video is over, you better believe I'm throwing it into this enclosure and I'm going to start using it as my uh, essentially my 4K video drive, if you will. And that's the beauty of NVMe drives like this is that if you wanted to connect this directly to something like a Blackmagic camera, and actually record to it, you can do that. Uh, no problem with the throughput from this drive uh, or the enclosure, at least based on specifications. Um, and that's something that I commonly see with something like, um, you know, the Samsung uh, T5 series drives. So it doesn't surprise me that people are doing that. And Sabrent just offers, in my opinion, a really, uh, you know, value-oriented 
uh, product that if you're in the market for may be a right fit for your budget considering that this is all going to end up costing under 150 or around 150 US. Granted at this point uh, Samsung T5 uh, drives are close to that but this still undercuts them and of course with the Sabrin enclosure, you have the flexibility of putting any NVMe drive you want. You, of course, do not need to go with Sabrin. But again, I was going to be testing this with the 256. I just could not wait any longer. Wanted to share it with all of you. And so there it is. You've got the Sabrin uh, NVMe uh, PCI Express external enclosure about to be paired with the ter one terabyte uh, Sabrin NVMe, dr NVMe drive. And I will be updating all of you on its performance and overall capability. Uh, which again, I expect to be solid, both in terms of, uh, you know, the build quality as well as overall performance. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.